Hello everyone, this is Core Chaser, and this is going to be awesome. In my last video, I touched upon doing a video on replacing dead batteries in cartridge-based games. Uh, so I went ahead and I picked up two Game Boy Color games that I knew required backup saves from batteries. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe and Pokemon Gold. Um, surprisingly, the battery in Super Mario Deluxe still works after about 18 years. However, that save isn't going to be around forever because this battery at some point or later is going to die. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace it now, so that way it works and my scores are all saved. So we'll put that aside, and Pokemon Gold. Um, when you buy one of the original red, blue, and yellow games, you have a chance that the battery still works, but I can guarantee you, unless someone has already replaced the battery from the gold, silver, or crystal lines, that this cartridge will be dead in the water, you will not be able to save. The reason being is that these games had clocks that drained the battery, that they, they kept track of the real world time, and so not only was your save being kept track of, but also the hour and uh, so <laughs> you can imagine how that would swiftly drain the batteries of these. So um, I tested this ahead of time, uh, tried to save, it was dead. So what we're going to do is we're going to resurrect this cartridge from the dead so that way we can play it again. So hooray for that. Uh, you will be needing a few things to do this. You will be needing a soldering iron. Um, I got this cheap off of eBay for less than five dollars. Um, so you can go, you can get a fancy one, you get a cheap one, it just needs to be able to heat the solder to remove the battery and place a new one on. You will be needing a CR2025 battery. Uh, you will want to try and find one that have these metal tabs on it. Uh, you'll see why soon enough. Uh, makes it a lot easier. And to get into the cartridge, you will need a 3.8 millimeter security screw bit. Uh, you use this to get into the back of the cartridge. Now, I'm. Uh, you also might need some fresh solder just in case the original solder that's on the cartridge is not going to be enough to uh, support your new battery. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to heat up um, our soldering iron. Remove this uh, tip. And we are going to plug it in. This might take a few minutes to heat up, so we're just going to set that aside. Um, an important thing to know is that you will want to work on a surface that is not flammable. You will not want to have anything around you that could potentially uh, be damaged by the soldering iron. So I am going to cut until the soldering iron is nice and ready for us to start this work. Later that same evening. Okay, so the soldering iron is all set and heated up. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to take our security screw bit and we are going to take it to the back of the cartridge. There is only one screw on all Game Boy games, except for especially ones that had rumble packs. Those ones had multiple ones. You just put this uh, the bit in there, and you unscrew a little bit. It comes out. Put it uh, to the side so it does not get lost. I usually have a little tray that I keep little screws and stuff in while taking uh, apart hardware, but since it's only the one screw, it's not that much to keep track of. Um, you just slide this down and lift it up, and there we can see the inner workings of this cartridge. Just take it out of the back tray. Okay, as you can see, uh, the battery that's on here has the tabs, just like the battery we're going to be replacing it with. Um, in my last video I talked about the dangerous method of actually using a knife to actually scrape under here to bend this up. Um, which, as I said, it could really hurt yourself. Uh, you could damage your cartridge, and if you're working with something like a Pokemon game or something as equally expensive, you do not want to damage the cartridge. But what's more important, you don't want to damage yourself. You're worth more than that. So, the first step is that we need to take this battery up. Uh, something else I forgot to mention is you might want to use something that you can use to hold the battery. Um, I use some tweezers. The reason being is that even though we're touching this contact point, this battery is going to get very warm. And uh, you could burn yourself, which we don't want. Uh, it's my first time doing this on camera, so it's going to be a little awkward for me. So you just take it and you press the soldering iron 
to the solder, you can see it's starting to bubble and melt. And while it's doing that, we want to lift up the battery. Uh, that's not going to work. While it's melting. Okay, so we got one end up. Uh, I also want to say that uh, I am also very new to this. This is only my third time doing this. And I promise that I will redo this once I've gotten a little more experience. So that way I can do a more professional looking job. But, the good news is, is that you do not need that much experience to do this. I was able to do this on my very first attempt with no problems. Okay, so now we take the new battery, try and do this so everyone can see properly, take the new battery and we place it, place the tabs where the solder points are, and we're just going to apply the battery to these new points or at least a new battery to the old points. Now you may or may not need new solder. You might be able to use the solder that's already on the board. You basically just want to cover the tab so that way the solder sets. Okay, this side we are gonna need some solder. Solder is also thankfully very cheap. I got I got a good amount of solder for a very cheap price, under three dollars. Um, she just wanted to take some solder. You want to put it over the tab that you want, and we're just going to melt the solder onto its new home. Think of it as forming a bridge. Just want to pull it over. Just like that. Alright, once we have a a good bridge. Let it cool for a second. Make sure that it doesn't move because if it can wiggle out of place it can lose break with the contacts. And that is basically it. That is a done deal. Going to stop this for a second. We're going to test the save. A few minutes later. Okay, I made a bit of an error. Um, I had put this battery on backwards. So I had this side soldered to this side and so it wouldn't work. Um, so I already uh, resoldered it, put it in the proper position, so it's important to note which side is your positive and which side is your negative on the battery. Otherwise putting it in, it will not work. Um, so what I did was, I did test this and the save does work. So I'm just gonna show that to you now. Um, silly mistake, but we all learn from our mistakes. So I will know from now on to be super careful about doing that. So I'm going to show you the save. So you can see, um, I just booted up and saved on the first level. So that is working. That cartridge is all good to go. So all you have to do left is just to screw the security bit back in. And that's all there is to it. And this cartridge is all set and ready to go. And since that other battery lasted for almost two decades, I'd say that this one doesn't need to be changed again for a very long time. So that's all set and good to go. I have already taken uh, Pokemon Gold apart just to save time. 
And we're going to follow the exact same steps. We're going to unsolder the battery. Just gently lift it up. Take our new battery. And we are going to make damn sure that we have the positive and negatives correct. So we just lay the battery on. Oops. You know what's difficult? Trying to do things through a viewfinder. Ugh, we will get there eventually, I promise. Okay. The battery is in the proper, correct position. And we build our solder bridge over the contacts. And just like that, we are all set for a brand new Johto adventure. For as long as the battery decides to live. Um, the opening for Pokemon takes a while, as most of you probably know, so I'm going to do a jump cut from when I do a first save. Okay, see you in one moment. Later. Alright, so here we are with Pokemon Gold. This is the moment of truth. I have played just up until the point where you can save. And let's cross our fingers and hope I got it correct this time. Alright, as you can see, the continue option is there. That means the battery is in and works. Awesome. So I will get started playing some Pokemon Gold. Uh, first time I've played it since the game came out. Damn, that was a long time ago. So I'm going to have fun with that. And with that, I say remember that life stinks play games. This is Score Chaser, and if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or any further uh, suggestions for videos, please drop it down in those comments. Thank you, and have an awesome day.